How's it going everybody? Just wanted to do an update uh, on my Mini Draco. Uh, I'm going to just go over some of the parts that I've uh, added to this gun. And uh, for my subscribers that have been maybe wondering where I've been and why I haven't been posting any videos, I'll talk about that later at the end of the video. Because uh, I know most people are probably going to watch this video just to see the gun and not care about where I've been uh, if you're not a subscriber I guess. Uh, but uh, yeah, so that's my mini Draco. Uh, originally, you know, I wasn't going to do anything to the gun, really. Uh, I just kind of left it kind of original. I mean, I did change the grip at one point to a uh, wood Romanian one. And the forend, I basically just had the standard uh, uh, wood forend. And I just stained it to match the, the wood grip I had. Uh, but then after a while, I, I don't know, I guess uh, because my front sight, or like the gas block is slightly uh, canted a little bit and uh, you know it's kind of sometimes difficult to pick up the sights a little bit and I don't know I just one thing led to another I just decided to make it a tactical gun I guess and uh, so I ended up deciding to go ahead and get rid of that ugly uh, wood foreign and uh, getting the upgraded one which I guess I'll go ahead and start with that since I already uh, I'm talking about it. Uh, got the Midwest Industries, of course, uh, aluminum quad rail. Uh, I don't believe there's really too many manufacturers that make the Mini Draco because they were kind of not being imported, but now I guess they're importing them again. So who knows, maybe other companies will start coming out with uh, rails, but this is the one I got. And of course, a lot of people were happy with it. Uh, made in America, which is always great. Nice quality, very uh, pretty lightweight. I, I, sorry, but I forgot the uh, the weight on it. Uh, it's just so many ounces or whatever. I forget what it was, but uh, yeah, it's pretty easy to install. Uh, of course, it gives you places to put a uh, rud out if you suppose, or uh, you know, a vertical grip, uh, angled vertical grip. Of course, if you put an actual vertical grip, you would have to do paperwork since it would make it a ALW or, or if you SBR the gun uh, then you wouldn't have to worry about that then but uh, uh, or if you wanted to put any type of lasers, flashlights, whatever you know uh, <clears throat> of course I added the angled vertical grip which was of course approved by the ATF uh, for pistols since it's not an actual considered a vertical grip this is actually for my AR uh, so kind of been uh, using it from my AR and uh, if I ever take my AR out uh, I'll probably end up taking this back off or taking this off and put it back on my AR you know I just really didn't feel like spending the extra money uh, right now to get a dedicated one for this gun uh, so I'm just kind of borrowing it uh, and of course I added this UTG uh, little riser this is the medium riser and uh, the reason why I did that instead of putting the red dot uh, directly on the rail is quite frankly I wanted the ability to uh, quick release somewhat uh, the red dot if in case of the red dot failed. Uh, I didn't want to have to worry about getting a uh, allen key or anything to unscrew the red dot if uh, I needed to. Something happened to the optic or battery died or whatnot. Uh, since this rail uh, part of the handguard does not allow for co-witness with the red dot if it was directly on there so that's why it says you know what I know it looks goofy uh, way up there and it kinda gives you a jacked up cheek weld um, but all right, like I said I wanted something kinda quick release and since there's really no actual uh, rails on the other left side of the receiver for you know those type of amounts since they're not uh, they don't have them so I kinda opted to put it on the uh, top portion of the handguard uh, and I know most people will say about uh, putting something like an optic on a, a handguard uh, well this uh, handguard is very rock solid I mean it does not have any play at all and uh, you know I've been playing around with it and so far it's been holding zero very well so I know it's not the best thing to do uh, but uh, it works and of course the optic is the Bushnell TRS-25 which of course there's a lot of people who say good things about them for being under under a hundred dollar uh, little micro red dot uh, I had it on my full size AK 
and uh, held zero and it just worked great and it, so far it's working awesome for this actually this was for my Saiga but since uh, I uh, waiting to get an Altimac uh, you know gas tube for it uh, I basically kind of stole it from that gun and uh, I really haven't been uh, putting any money into that gun since I basically don't even shoot it that much anymore because uh, I'm having so much fun with this one uh, the other thing I changed I put the uh, uh, bell style brake I know a lot of people call them the crank off brake well uh, of course crank off is not the actual correct term uh, it's just basically AKS 74U basically uh, so this is more what they call the bell brake which this one's not a true one because uh, those ones were just actually just a booster for the short barreled uh, AKs uh, whereas this one is actually a muzzle brake because uh, it does have the porting on top probably doesn't work as good as some other ones but I kinda like the look of it and I thought it kinda fit this gun a little bit uh, I also had the 74 style muzzle brake uh, which I kinda go off and on and switch uh, you know I kinda end up deciding I'm gonna stick to this one because I noticed with that one with the 74 style brake uh, it would be like open on the side here and during shooting it gave a lot of concussion and you can kind of feel it uh, I mean it wasn't painful or nothing but uh, you know with a short barrel like this I, I felt that uh, you know it couldn't affect the accuracy when shooting because in case of you flinched or something you know from feeling that concussion like in your face uh, so this one seemed to be a little more pleasant and didn't give that much side concussion uh, so I am probably going to end up keeping this one even though I would I kind of do like maybe the uh, slant brake even though it's not really the best brake and it's kind of uh, dated design and there's new and better brakes out there but what I like what I like about the slant brake is that it kind of it's so very short and it gives uh, the gun an overall shorter uh, uh, appearance because this is uh, pretty long and uh, you know, the slant brakes, they, you know, for what they are, for how simple a design they are, they do work uh, kind of decently, you know. But uh, I'm probably just going to end up keeping this one and I guess have to have a little extra length. Uh, so enough about that. Uh, nothing really internal I did to the gun. Uh, did change out the grip. Uh, I was kind of debating on what I wanted to get. I ended up uh, going with the, the Magpul MOE grip for the AK. Uh, the reason why I was kind of looking, of course, for a better grip, even though this isn't the most comfortable and best one, but what I was looking for is one that didn't cost an arm and a leg, one for around $20 range, and not no $30 for a grip, you know, I just, I'm sorry for grip, I don't, I'm not that picky about grips to where I want to spend that kind of money, uh, and I was really looking for something with a compartment on the bottom, which this one does, uh, because I want to, since I am running an optic, I would like to be able to have some more on the gun to store extra batteries or anything else I may, I may want. So if I'm at the range, if it does die, at least I, I got some backups. Uh, of course, I don't have any batteries currently uh, yet for it, but uh, I was going to get the uh, US Palm from the reviews. Uh, but unfortunately, I found from some of the reviews is that they, uh, they don't seem like they're as nice anymore. Like they don't have, I guess, the... Uh, the new ones now don't have the plug in the bottom, so where you can store stuff, it's just a hollow hole now. Uh, so that's why I ended up not getting that, even though I was going to get it from the reviews. But then once I found out it didn't have a storage compartment, I uh, ended up not doing it. You know, even though I heard people say this grip is okay, but it's definitely you know nothing to nothing to uh, go crazy about. You know, it's not that really nice of a grip for being a Magpul. You know, I guess, but. Uh, you know, I like it. It's alright. I kind of like the look of it too, but uh, I know it's not perfect. But, uh, oh well, I'm, I'm happy with it. So, uh, of course, the other thing I did uh, or got is the Sentry Arms uh, stabilizing arm brace. Of course, everybody, uh, you know, this is basically making AK pistols more fun and actually more usable because, uh, of course, you know, the ATF said that it's okay to uh, shoulder it like a rifle. 
and it still does not uh, change the classification of the gun. So that's basically another reason why I'm not shooting my rifles uh, variants that much anymore. Uh, they're basically just sitting there. But I, of course, am AK guy and don't want to sell them, you know. <laughs> and, uh, you know, this wouldn't be my go-to gun just because it's uh, such a short gun. And uh, I'd rather have, uh, you know, something with uh, better ballistics with a longer barrel, more accuracy and all that. And actually something with the actual stock and not just, you know, something that can kind of turn on you if you give it enough uh, uh, force you know so but this definitely uh, makes this gun just amazing I also switch it in between with my uh, my my Serbian PAP M85 uh, AK pistol that I got in 5.56 uh, so that's kind of cool I can alter uh, with those and you know I, I love AKs more than ARs even though I got three ARs uh, I basically aren't even shooting my ARs anymore because if I'm going to shoot 5.56 five, or 223 I usually kind of bring my uh, PAP M85 out, so, and, uh, you know, I can hit, even with this gun too, with the red dot, and even the M85 with iron sights, I can hit an 8-inch steel gong at 100 yards, so, uh, you know, definitely these guns are a lot more accurate now with the stabilizing brace, and if used to uh, just kind of shoot it without it, you know, just as a pistol. Uh, but, uh, so that's basically all I'm going to really do to this gun, I would say. The M85, I, I, don't, I was originally going to do it kind of like the tactical and was going to leave this one wood, but then I ended up kind of switching the idea and I really like the, uh, the wood on the M85. So that one I'm probably not going to do too much to it. I may or may not add some sort of uh, optic for the M85, you know. I may do the uh, like rail that goes on the uh, dust cover of the M85. I'm not sure. Uh, but right now, I mean, I can hit pretty good, uh, you know, with that 8-inch target with iron sights with the M85. Uh, so I may not even add an optic on it. You know, normally I don't like uh, the modernized AKs. Usually I'm more like traditional. But, uh, you know, I kind of like both though. So, uh, but so yeah, that's the gun. So I think that's pretty much about all I'm doing to this one. And, uh, you know, I'll have to make a video of the M85 another day and uh, kind of go over that gun. Since I only did just a couple shooting videos and I really didn't talk about that gun too much anymore. Uh, but anyway, so, yeah, that's about it. Uh, anyway, so, as far as where I've been, uh, as far as uh, why I've been making videos is because uh, uh, about last year, uh, before winter came around, I ended up picking up a 1980 Malibu. Uh, so, I kind of been, only really drove it about once last last year. And I finally got, you know, the body work done and uh, got it in paint, just hot rod black for now. And uh, so really I've been trying to get the car back together and trying to, you know, save up money so I can, you know, buy door seals and, you know, everything just to kind of restore the car. So that's why I haven't been even shooting at all. Uh, I mean, it was at a point where it was probably over like five months maybe, or I, I, don't, I don't even know. And I didn't even go to the range at all. Uh, so basically on any, any nice day I've been, if I can I try to you know drive the car and enjoy it before winter comes and uh, really just do things to it to, uh, to try to get it where I want it to be which of course is going to be many years uh, progress you know because car stuff's very expensive still got to put some headers on it you know just got a little 350 uh, motor in it and uh, a little small cam and stuff so but uh, yeah uh, so that's basically where I've been uh, you know, I've just been messing with the car, and uh, there's any chance to do whatever I can to it, and I'm doing that, or just driving it, enjoying it, so, uh, so that's basically, uh, uh, that, you know, so that's why I pretty much put all gun stuff to the side, you know, you gotta, when you got two expensive hobbies, you gotta kind of prioritize yourself, and, uh, do one or the other, basically, so, uh, so that's basically where I've been, and, uh, sorry for not really making any videos or anything, uh, you know, I apologize. I know this one, I've had this gun like this for some time now. And, uh, it says, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, do a little update video. So, uh, that's that. Uh, if you have any questions, guys, uh, about anything, about any parts or something, uh, you know, feel free to, uh, comment, you know, try to answer the best you can. Oh, one thing I'm sorry I did do to the stabilizing brake is just drill the, uh, 
a hole through the aluminum part and put just a cheap uh, sling like Uncle Mike's uh, thing. So sling uh, mount or swivel and uh, I had to put a little nut on the in inside. Of course I did it when I took this off first so I can get it from this side and tighten it down so it doesn't go anywhere. Uh, I did that so I can have like a one point sling. Instead of getting a bracket or the plate under there to it, I thought it might space it out too much you know so that's why I did that so that's it. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, if you have any questions feel free to leave a message. Alright, have a good one.